cost to be a boss Ain't a damn thing free I'm looking like money All eyes on me I'm in love with my money boy. What it do, what it is, what it do, what it is. You already know. It's your boy, Mr. Mind Gone. You tuned in to the Shoebox Down South. Real quick, fam. Um, uh, this is a late uh, release that I um, just happened to run, run across and pick up. I wanted these, but um, uh, end up going to sleep on the drop. And uh, needless to say, I didn't get it. But I caught a restock on Hibbits. And uh, without further ado... We gonna go on and get into these shoes. Uh, they came in yesterday, or well, day before yesterday, and uh, I just hadn't got the review up and everything. But I'm gonna go ahead and do that for y'all. I got a lot of stuff to do. I had a collapse on my uh, one of my sneaker boxes stacks, and I was looking for some shoes and tore my room up, and uh, so I, I had to collapse. So I had to go get another rack. Um, I didn't have any of those in the rack, but needless to say, I got to reconstruct my room again, and I will show y'all, but I'm not going to embarrass myself on YouTube, but, uh, this is, like I say, a Hibbit release, and I'll show you, you probably can see that, but I ain't gonna, I'm trying to show my address, whatever, you got some people that be lurking, trying to jack, but, Yeah, and I actually copped these. My wife showed me the um, the the shoe was on the site and it was live or whatever. And I didn't even think to grab my phone. I copped on her phone and gave her the uh, cash back and everything because I wanted these shoes so bad. But we have an Air Jordan 12 box. You already uh, know or should know what this shoe is, uh, judging by the drops that came uh, earlier this month. But uh, colorway is. Uh, black, black, bright, crimson. Air Jordan 12 Retro, size 11, retail um, 190 on these, personal pair. Let's get into these shoes. Standard Air Jordan 12 paper. And we have here the Air Jordan 12 Utility. And there's uh, nothing else in the box. Uh, should have at least gave you some more shoe strings, but uh, I guess this black shoe strings are good enough. <clears throat> this is the shoe fan. It's a very nice shoe. I saw it in the mock-ups, and a lot of people like they didn't like it, and I was one of the ones that said, "Yeah, I gotta have that." Cause it's it's different. It's odd, but it is a twelve, you know. And I love twelves, and this this colorway will match with a lot of stuff. I guess a lot of people wasn't liking this sole, and let's get into this sole. Matter of fact. Okay, you have your normal Air Jordan 12 bottom. Um, got the traction pads in black right here. And uh, this, you got the carbon fiber right there. And I'm trying to think of the name of this color. I, um, I, it looks, it's blue, but it has like a cement um, vibe going on the inside of it. Uh, I don't know what, I know it's probably... I know it's rubber and some kind of other material mixed in to give it uh, that shape, that shade and that color, everything. But uh, it got paint speckles of like concrete on the inside of it. Um, and it, it's nice when you look deep into it because it's, it's sort of, it's transparent. Got your white jump man up there. You know, typical Air Jordan 12 bottom. Moving on, you know, and th this, uh, right with my box. <laughs> This is a sway, well, new book. It ain't really sway, but it's new book. And it's, it's, it's nice. It's soft and everything. Uh, if you look deep into it, it's kind of tumbled. And, of course, you got the tumbled leather uh, all over the upper of the shoe, going around the shoe. You got your uh, black Jumpman plate, shank plate, trimmed in crimson orange, red, whatever you want to call it, with your silver metallic uh, eye stays right here with the Jordan logo on them. And uh, going up the tongue, you got the black tongue. It's uh, that kind of Carhartt material uh, 
on Carhartt shoes. I guess that's why they call it utility. Everything you your red two three is black, but it's trimmed uh, in crimson. Same way as the Jumpman, black trimmed in uh, crimson. Overall, nice shoe. Got that suede right there. New book. I don't know why I keep on saying suede and new book, but it's new book. Definitely. Yeah. Get in to your shoe tree. 11, 11 and a half is normal. Cardboard shoe tree. You got a bright crimson red uh, insole with the black jump man on it. And tongue label. Um, production date 03 to 4 So just over a month, month and a half uh, production on these shoes, you know. And they were made earlier this year and they dropped uh, in the latter part of the year, you know. But uh, this overall dope shoe can definitely blend in with a bunch of colorways and, you know, we all like uh, black and red, so. Excuse me. Oh, let me go uh, back to this pull tab on the back. You have that gray uh, up here with the jump man right there. And then you have the Jordan. It's the black, the pull tab black, but it's sort of like a, a university. I mean, you're not a university. Cool gray Jordan, probably inspired by the greatest players ever uh, right there. And then you got your white 2 3 right here. And then just accents it. Yeah, fam, but uh, this is an overall dope 12. You know, a lot of people slept on these. A lot of people say they weren't going to get them, but a lot of people said that and end up copping anyway. You know, but I'm off the gate. Out the gate, I almost going to cop any 12, uh, any 9, any 8, because I love those, uh, those, those models of shoes and everything. You know, I'm out the ordinary. Everybody loves Jordan 1s and Jordan 11s, which I do too. Everything, but I'm more partial to the ones that a lot of people don't uh, like. And I love Fours. That's my that was, Fours actually started my crave for Jordans, the Four. And so I'm definitely I'm still looking for those uh, women's Fours, the Shimmers. I need those in my life. Y'all know somebody with a decent price on them, not too much over retail. You know, give me a holler. I'm still looking for those Rush Pink 3s. You know, there's a lot of cops I wasn't fortunate enough to uh, be able to have, to get them down here in my area. But, um, and it's it's crazy. It's some exclusive stuff I can get down here and some GR stuff I can't get down here. So it just depends on how the shoe dropping and um, where Nike want to send it to. And we do have a lot of stores that's getting late shipments. And before y'all go pay uh, resale, please, Check out your stores and your malls and everything because they, they come in late. Um, I had a store that just got the uh, the yellow fours, uh, the two yellow fours yesterday. Of course, they sold a lot because uh, everybody calling uh, their friends, hey, man, we got them foes in, you know, and stuff like that, you know, but they sold a lot quick. And we got stores that just getting shadow uh, ones and uh, piling ones. So... Nike been doing a lot of late shipping. Uh, hold your money. Don't go pay resale. Always check with the stores and see if they got the um, pairs. Well, I know a lot of uh, stores that uh, didn't get the sixes, the Bordeaux sixes. They only got grade school pairs. And they didn't get any men's pairs. So they'll be trickling in from here to there. But other than that, fam, I love y'all. This has been another episode of the Shoebox Down South. Oh, I got my link in the description. Um, go over to teespring.com. My store is up. It's also called the Shoe Down South. Shoe, shoe Box Down South. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but uh, go support your boy. Uh, I got merch on there. Uh, a few different colorways and um, styles of shirts at this point. And I'm going to add some more tonight and everything. And uh, I ordered some. Hopefully, I have an in-hand review of my own product and next week. Other than that, love y'all, and I'll holla y'all later.